Holy crap. Now this is arguably the biggest week in all of earnings, really. The biggest week for earnings reports is going to be this week because, well, just take a look at Thursday, right? So we're going to be talking about the most anticipated earnings, uh, earnings reports to watch for the week of October 26th, 2020, that is. This video would have been out earlier, obviously. Stayed very, very late at work, unfortunately, so uh, it'll be taking a while. Um, but this is a massive, massive week for uh, the market, really. It's going to be incredible, so we'll get into these. I have three focus stocks. Um, you can probably guess which ones they are, but still, three focus stocks. But there's so many good companies to look at here. I only chose three somehow. I know it's difficult for me. So, overall, Monday. Let's start with Monday before open. We start with a boring, you know, Hasbro, right? You know them, obviously, from board games, right? That's Hasbro City, board game city. Don't know really any insights on anything special with them, all things considered. We've got Simply Good, uh, SAP, HCA, New Residentials, Holding I Own. Very curious on those earnings, obviously, as you talk about a stock that's uh, actually recovered quite a bit, and I think this could have a decent impact in terms of share appreciation. Uh, we've already seen, you know, uh, dividend per share rising at rapid rates, so good to see if these earnings can back up that support for the, uh, the recovery of the dividend, so I'll be interested in that. Bank of Marin, uh, the Bank of Hawaii as well. Otis, uh, he is an interesting guy's name, probably a farmer most likely. Uh, Alliance Resource Partners, boom. So after close, we still we got some bangers after close Monday. It's going to be crazy. We start with Twilio. Then we go to a massive, massive one in Chegg. Uh, and Chegg, I really want to mention this is on many... Many folds. I think this is almost an ideal environment for a company like Chegg and the services they offer. We're going to be talking about massive, massive revenue jumps. Potentially, you know, 40 to 50 percent year over year uh, in terms of revenue jumps. We'll see what that looks like, um, but I do think that will be the case. Um, so keep an ear out, obviously, uh, for that. But Chegg Earnings, this is just a great environment for every service they offer, from uh, obviously the textbooks to their tutoring service, which is fantastic for all this online learning that's going on right now. People need tutoring probably, so Chegg offers that. Um, Chegg Study, I mean, they have all of these things that really help overall with the current environment. They're going to be doing great. Alphabet, the main story for them obviously is going to be the return of ad dollars. And I think they're at a point where actually they have reached a really decent return. Uh, I do think that ad rates have been recovering, not nearly to where they were, but ad rates have been recovering. So you need to really think about that when you talk about Alphabet um, and really Google as a whole. So ad rates recovering. Just pretty excited to see what's what's plausible here for, for Google. I think these numbers should be pretty decent. Um, so keep an eye out for them. Always an interesting one to look at. Uh, NXP, F5 Network, named after a tornado, that's right, K12, AGNC, Amcor Technology, uh, Boyd Gaming, and Brown and Brown Insurance. The insurance companies get out of here. Um, Tuesday, we got some bangers, okay? We got some bangers. Uh, we're going to start with Pfizer, and I mentioned obviously Pfizer is really an important stock for many reasons. So the main focal point of this earnings, and it's I think it's unfair because it's a really good company, the main focal point of this earnings is going to be solely around their their treatment for COVID. It's going to be the entire focal point of this, uh, this earnings report. So you're going to see, obviously, a big focus on it when they talk about their earnings. Uh, and obviously, if we see positive results as far as testing, uh, is concerned, um, or, or really trials, then I think the stock could, could do some good numbers. I, I do like it regardless. Pretty good stock, but I'll be looking at these earnings. We have 3M, nothing crazy to say about them, really, you know, known for office supplies, products like that. Obviously, they've been making masks. Nothing crazy to say for them. Um, Caterpillar, it's been having a rough, rough time for Caterpillar. 
uh, a rough earnings lately, so we'll see if they rebound potentially. There's Lily, uh, Raytheon Technologies, Sherwin Williams. We love painting, okay. Uh, Novartis, Merck, JetBlue. Um, JetBlue is one of the uh, couple airlines that are going to be reporting. One of the first few, uh, and needless to say, you're going to be expecting horrific earnings from these airline companies. Still, better than last quarter. But still horrific. We're talking about flights that are dirt cheap. Dirt cheap flights. Um, yeah, flights are incredibly cheap right now. So they're not making as much profit. Uh, they're not making as much revenue. Just a rough time overall for airlines. Uh, then obviously BP to end it off. Uh, Tuesday after close. It just, I mean, it keeps getting better as the week goes on. What the crap is going on with this week? We've got... Tuesday after close, Microsoft. Now, this is just an incredible company. Stock's been on an incredible tear just within the last couple of years, too. Uh, and I think they're going to really continue this dominance because overall, I think these earnings should be just really good. I think you're going to see really good cloud numbers. Obviously, you need to mention that. But I even think from a gaming perspective, you're going to see really good numbers from a gaming perspective from Microsoft, which typically isn't always what you see. But overall, even in devices sold as far as um, operating software systems and just overall Microsoft Surface tablets, everything, I think they're going to be beating in a vast majority of the categories um, and by a decent chunk as far as devices sold. So you need to look at just the overall picture of Microsoft and what they offer. Obviously, with a recent acquisition, potentially, I mean, it's going to go through most likely. A Bethesda, um, or really Bethesda's publisher uh, as a whole, the entire company, um, Zenimax, I believe. Am I thinking right? Yeah, regardless. Um, but again, gaming's a big focus for them right now, and I think it's a great time for that, obviously, because, well, gaming is on the rise right now just due to people, I assume, due to lockdown as part of it. But right now, it's a pretty cyclical thing. And you talk about next-gen consoles and what Microsoft can offer with their new Xbox Series X. I believe it's a Series X. Or is that... I don't know. I think that's it. Um, not too up-to-date on the, the hip culture. PlayStation makes it easy by just calling it uh, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, uh, then we have AMD after them. Another massive, massive stuff. Run by fantastic CEO and Lee Su. Um... Uh, Lisa Sue is a great, great woman. She runs the company well. Uh, no, uh, but good, good leadership here with AMD. Uh, and you've seen the stock just take off as a result. And, and they've been able to grow revenues by rapid rates. And I think it continues really because they benefit a lot from the gaming sphere. And that is a pretty big aspect of this quarter right now for them. So I think you're going to see good numbers from AMD. You see Dexcom, uh, Enphase, Energy, FireEye, First Solar, uh, Akami, Akami, Akam, Akami, Akami. That's what I said. The same thing twice. Uh, Onioke. Really, it's like one okay. I don't know. Uh, Pfizer, Pfizer, and to you. You know, it got rough there towards the end of that day. You know, it got rough there. But before Open Wednesday, we recover, okay? We recover here. With, believe it or not, um, yeah, there's a few more bangers Wednesday. Starting with UPS, this should be a massive, massive quarter. Obviously, Q4 is the biggest quarter for these companies. But I think Q3, it's going to be big as well. You talk about the shop from home demand that has continued to rise. And you've seen it in retail earnings. You've seen it everywhere. Uh, shopping from home is massive, and UPS helps deliver these products. So I think they see some incredible business. So expect really good numbers out of UPS. Then we see Boeing. Yeah, we don't need to talk about Boeing. We're going to talk about 30% revenue declines, twenty maybe 20% revenue declines. Awful EPS numbers. Boeing earnings is going to be it's going to be horrific. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Uh, and then GE. Mm. You know, GE, don't like the company that much. Sorry, kind of boring. Um, they're in a, train, a, a restructure. I get it. I get it. Still don't like them. Um, Fiverr. Uh, it's been, Fiverr's actually been taking off pretty well, believe it or not. Fiverr's been doing good stuff. 
So keep an eye out for Fiverr earnings, even though it's a you know, somewhat a lesser known company, I guess, to some people. But obviously, it's you know you pay uh, pay someone to do something, you know, typically in a, a five second video around there. Um, you know, the, uh, you pay someone to do something for you on it. Interesting to see. Typically, celebrities giving someone a shout out or something like that, which is crazy because you think about it, you're already rich and famous, and now you're making more money off of some saying someone's name. I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, the rich, the rich stay rich. It's easy to stay rich. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mastercard after them. Financials have been doing pretty well, so Mastercard should be put, putting some good numbers up, I assume. Um, Sony, you know, I expect good stuff out of Sony, both from the gaming category, just the overall television devices category. Could be good numbers for Sony. Could good market prospects, really, I should say. Anthem, Six Flags. I mean, you don't even need to bother with Six Flags earnings. They're going to be horrific. It's going to be horrific. It's, it's going to be, you know, what I would call a bloodbath of earnings. Uh, red everywhere. Um, Dynatrace and then Generac. I would honestly say Generac, it seems strange, but I do think they see a little bit of a benefit in the generator sphere. Obviously, their signature product being, you know, um, uh, generators. So I do think they see a benefit here. It's kind of crazy, but I do. I don't know. Something just about me. It's just I just feel like this company puts up a little better of a revenue number than typical. That's my my perspective on the matter. Uh, after close, still some some great stuff going on here. Fastly, you've got Pinterest, who usually puts up some pretty darn good numbers. Really big benefit re- as far as the shopping portion on Pinterest goes. Um, I think, and my I, I think it'd be pretty big. Then Etsy, I mean, you can't go without talking about Etsy and just the dominance they've been able to put up in this last little while. Um, the numbers have been incredible for the, for these online companies, and Etsy certainly leading the pack there as far as massive, massive revenue growth. And it's incredible growth. So we'll see that continue most likely with Etsy. And you talk about the categories like masks uh, and just how they're custom-made things that people are spending money on. I mean, Etsy should see a really good benefit um, then we have Gilead Sciences, Teladoc, Visa, again, financials doing pretty well. Ford Motor Company, I'm actually pretty excited about these earnings because I think it could create some more positivity on this stock because you've seen auto sales actually on the rise for once, which is crazy. Ford's been getting hammered constantly, uh, but supposedly we've seen some good recovery. Um, obviously, the first portion of the quarter might not be that great, but... I do think recovery is in the works. I'm not tired. You're tired. I've only been up since 2 o'clock. Um, eBay. After them, good, good stuff from eBay, most likely. Not going to see quite the impact like an Etsy, but eBay should see a good benefit from people that still use the website. Surprise, it still gets used. Then service now. Um, before open Thursday, I mean, li- listen, Thursday is literally just banger city. It's banger city. That's all I can tell you. Um, uh, starting, obviously, with Shopify, which should have one of the biggest quarters they've ever had, if I'm being 100% honest with you. This quarter and potentially next quarter probably is going to be their biggest quarter ever, but this quarter will be, as of now, their biggest quarter ever. Um, Shopify should put up really, really freaking good numbers. Um, it, it's going to be incredible. I can't wait to look at that earnings report. It's going to be crazy. Um, we've then got Nokia. Surprise, Nokia exists. It's like BlackBerry. Does Nokia is Nokia still make phones? What? So that's a shocker to me. Um, then Twitter. Yeah, Twitter, you're kind of garbage. Um, I think they're still going to put up really good numbers. I just don't like Twitter personally. But I think they're going to put up some good, good numbers. Uh, Moderna. You're talking about again, and we're talking about vaccine potentially, this and, and treatments. That is what they're going to be focusing on in these earnings. Um, Spotify. Uh, good numbers, I expect, for Spotify too. I mean, I really do. Um, Spotify should put up quality numbers. I think people are obviously listening to a lot of music. Um, I think there's a lot of artists that have been putting out music, really, too. That's kind of a way to cope um, with a lot of people, 
you know, dealing with a lot of stuff. Putting out music. I don't know. I don't know. Overstock.com after them. Uh, then boring old Kraft Heinz. Nothing crazy as far as they're concerned. Uh, global payments. And then ABM Bev. You're talking about some Anheuser Busch. Um, yeah, we'll see how that looks. And my three focus stocks come up next. You're talking about Apple, Amazon, Facebook. We start off with Apple. Expecting 71 cents EPS versus 76 a year ago. Uh, I can see them beating on an EPS standpoint. I think they likely will. Uh, and an average sales growth, actually, they're only expected to grow revenue 0.2%. I think this will be a beat. And I think you're going to be talking close to a 5% revenue growth this quarter, in my perspective. Um, just something about me feels like this is going to be a 5% revenue growth quarter. I think they've got the potential to do great, great numbers. I don't think they're getting the credit they necessarily deserve on this estimate. So, yeah, that would be Apple for you. I think they're doing a lot great. Expect more. Uh, Amazon, they're expected average EPS of 725 versus 423 of a year ago. It's crazy how quickly they're growing EPS line. It's crazy. Then from a revenue perspective, expected a 32% increase. I personally think it's going to be higher than that. I think it's going to be a greater than 35% revenue growth. All things considered, I think it's going to be an incredible, incredible quarter where they see over 35% revenue growth, which is crazy. I just think this trend of online shopping isn't going anywhere. Amazon's done some really good stuff uh, as far as that's concerned. Facebook, I wanted to focus on as well. Expected EPS of $1.89 versus $2.12 a year ago. I think it's a beat. I really do think it's going to be a beat over that $1.89 standpoint because I think recovery has been better than expected. And sales growth is expected to be 117 I also think it's going to be a little bit better than that in terms of a revenue growth as well. Because you take a look at a company like Snapchat, which again makes a lot less money, but saw revenues jump 52%. I think Facebook jumps over this 11.7 number. Not going to say it's going to be an incredible bit over, but I do think they beat in that perspective because I think these companies are performing really well and ad rates have recovered for them pretty pretty decently. Um, and Facebook obviously offers a lot more too. So I'm pretty excited for them. These three in particular, uh, Activision Blizzard in there as well, should put up some good numbers because gaming has been very good so far and Activision Blizzard's got some good games out there. Digital Turbine. Starbucks is even on here. Son of a gun. They got Starbucks even. Um, should see some numbers returning to normal for Starbucks. So that's pretty cool. Opco, Veritex, Carvana, uh, Atlasian. Um, on Friday, you've got Ligand, ExxonMobil, Abvi. Love Abvi. Stock goes down. I'm always buying more. Come on now. Honeywell, Chevron, Altria, Under Armour. Uh, Lee, L3, Harris, and Charter. So, again, we sped up just a little bit. Um, uh, so, pretty good stuff. I mean, this is just a great week for, for earnings. And I hope you stuck through this whole thing and, and you got to hear all this out. So, I hope you enjoy. If you have any other insights, let me know. And I'd love to hear them in the comments. Thank you.